Welcome, Locksmithing Innovations, video 18. Uh, this video is a tool that I bought years ago and I started to modify right away. I bought it when I was the foreman on construction of a high security prison uh, and I was the only one from our crew on site until the contractor caught up and I had to move very heavy pipe chase doors. Um, doors for police stations, prisons, banking institutions are normally always a heavier grade. I bought it. It is the Dorminator from Telepro uh, in North Dakota. They also make drywall lifters. They make different, uh, made in the USA, they make different door carts. Uh, this particular one, Grand Forks, North Dakota, uh, is their starter line. I liked it for several reasons, but when I got it, I immediately started modifying it. And that's why it has made it to this video. Plus, last week, uh, I hung several doors, seven doors, on a site we installed the frames and everything. They were hollow metal and the painter had painted them. They were all standing upright. And basically, this allows one man to go and get a door, put it on the cart, put the hinges on it, and then install it. Well, other men on site can be installing door closers, other hardwares, kick plates, etc. Uh, it'll do it for wood slab doors. So, because I was working with heavy prison doors, first modification I did is I made a leg that holds 75 pounds of barbell weights. They come off very easily when I transport this in the truck. Just a hitch pin, takes the three of them off, throw them in the back of my truck. So that was the first modification. Also, I have a clip to clip on this leg. When I stand the cart upright, I can unclip this leg no problem when the weights are detached. Then, worked perfectly. Allowed me to move across the construction site, jump cords without dumping these heavy doors. Also, I could move it in more ways than Telepro said. They say to only move it in line like this with a door on it. Never travel forward or backwards. These counterbalance weights allowed me to do that very easily. Next thing I made is I welded up a tool tray. I got tired of having to grab screw boxes and go put the door in place then come back for screws or, or tools so I can hang. In this case, this is a Makita drill. This is called a VIX bed. It's a self-centering bed that is used when I install hinges on wood doors because it pre-drills them so I don't split them. And then obviously I have my impact gun with my number three Phillips bed in it. So this breaks down really easy. It goes in the back of a truck and sets up on site in no time. The beauty of this card is, is that it allows one man to do what normally takes two men. So as long as the door is standing upright, sometimes I stand them upright myself against the walls if painters haven't painted them. Sometimes I get assistance to do that, uh, to stand them upright off of a pallet and you know put them on cardboard on a wall or something of that, like that. So I can turn around and go get the door. So in this case, I'm going to get the door on the cart to show you. So this is a beautiful cart. And by the way, there is a YouTube, um, there is a YouTube video regarding this. And it is, it is on YouTube. Just look up the Dorminator and you'll find it. So the first step is, is getting it on the cart. 
you stand it upright. Now this, in this case, this is one of our shop doors. It's a fairly heavy door because it's a 40, 40 inch. It's not a 36. Okay. So once it's on there, you can start your tilt back. And then you put on the grab arms. I've also used this for aluminum glass doors, wood doors with lights in them. At this point, it's on the cart. I would then take my screw gun, screw all the hinges on. You always make sure the hinges are facing out. The beauty of this being on an angle like this is that it will now fit through your opening, which you're going to see very shortly. And by the way, I'm filling this on my own without an assistant. So you'll see me walk back and forth and do camera adjustments. Now I also added on this fitting here, it's a normal airline fitting. It gives me an extra steering control, which I really love when I'm jumping extension cords and a control knob. So now I can push this down this hallway without damaging a wall or scratching anything through its opening, just like that. Get it into position. And stand it upright. Now I'm going to go grab the camera so anybody that hasn't seen or it's not on what I've seen. So I wheeled that down that hole, didn't scrape a wall through the opening. And now we're going to, we've stood it upright. As you can see there, we've stood it upright. So now I'm ready to get it in on its hinges. So the beauty of this cart is, is now one person has taken that heavy door, moved it down that hall without any issue and put it somewhat in position. We flip the hinges out. I now see I'm too far this way. So I can now start to get it more into adjustment into the right position. Come on, Jeff. Just a little bit of, that's not bad, but. There we go, we're pretty good in that position. So now we go up. The one lever over here, this lever here, puts me, the door raises the door off the floor, up. And, uh, once I get to the right height, I can then see where I need to be. There we go. So now I'm almost up high enough. And my first hinge is in position, my top hinge. So I can now take my screw gun I'm going to put the top hinge in, you might not see it, and just get it started. So now I've got it started. Now you can see, well you might not be able to see because, as I say, I'm shooting this on my own. But the uh, hinges here are a little bit out. So now I've got another lever I can adjust, as well as the height, to bring those hinges in closer. And you can see, well, I don't know if I've got it angled right, but on this hinge here, I'm ready for two screws too. Okay, that was my fault. So now two out of my four hinges are started to be set. 
with with not a lot of trouble including this one here can probably be set and all I have to do is angle it a bit there we go now sometimes there we go so three out of four hinges now this does wood doors wood slab doors just as nice as uh, hollow metal or steel reinforced doors like prison doors I once took a prison door off that needed cutting down and re-welding off on a prison cell across the prison all the way all the way over across the prison loaded it in my truck took it back to a shop and reworked it and reinstalled it with this cart and anybody who's ever worked on prisons or prison doors knows uh, how heavy they are. Sometimes when I'm just a hair off, there, I'm in now. Just put my toe there rather than play with the levers. There we go. Okay, so we're going to call this the Dorminator Card 2.0 because once I bought it, I then started modifying it to meet my needs. Ever since that modification, it has worked amazingly. Now, a lot of locksmiths are going to say, this is a locksmith too. Well, I'll tell you this right now. I worked with a lot of companies that we've done door hardware, door installation. I mean, I like to keep myself active in most parts of the, the business. And when I do, stuff like this helps me. I do door and framework for contractors and that and everything else. Now, why is this such an advantage? And by the way, this, as I say, when I bought it, brought it up from North Dakota many, many years ago. The dark yellow parts are the parts that Telepro, they did have this leg. This leg actually swings in, but I take it right off when I move it into the truck. It breaks down to the dark yellow part, the light yellow part that I fabricated, and the three weights come off of it, obviously. These are magnetic dishes. This comes off, goes in the truck, disassembles, goes to site in no time. It has been worth every penny. What I have been able to accomplish over the years in door hanging and door repair with one man that most other guys use a drywall cart. I've seen professional hardware companies use drywall carts. Two men, they risk scratching and damaging the door, especially when they're a wood slab door that's veneered and that. I've done hinges. So we're gonna call this cart the Dorminator, Jeff's Dorminator 2.0. More than, I suggest, if you do lots of doors and frames, to consider investing in one of these. And I also highly say it's one of the best ever door carts for one man hanging a large door, such as this 
this four hinge unit right here. We got a top hinge, you know, seven foot by 40 inch door hanging it. And I don't have all the screws in yet because there you go. That door is hung and in, fitting just like a charm. You never knew, no, that I moved it. This is, happens to be one of our big shop doors. And me and the owner actually installed the frames and did a lot of the hollow metal studding and that around the shop when he moved in. So I needed an example. Obviously, while I'm working on site, I can't, I can't film on site that I'm charging the customers for. I don't own the business. So this was my best example. Hope everyone liked this video. As I say, this is video 18. It's going to be Jeff's Telepro Dorminator Cart 2.0, just because it has been modified to work with heavier doors. And they recommend that you just go like this with the door on it. I can go backwards and forwards. I've never lost a door. I've done aluminum doors with it, aluminum glass doors. All I have to do is put a thing that I, uh, usually I put a piece across here that I bridge both the aluminum uh, rails and don't rest on the glass with this because you don't want to do that. But works great, works great. So I hope everybody liked it. Thank everybody that's watching these videos and subscribing them. So this is video 18, Jeff's Telepro Dorminator 2.0. If you do door and framework as a locksmith, highly recommend it. Take care everyone. Uh, see you on the next video. And uh, middle of December, getting close to Christmas. I hope to have another video out, but this one came out because I had been, took this out of storage to do uh, six or seven doors, as well as door frames on a project and all the hardware just recently, so I thought I would share this with everyone. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye now.